Hi friends. Cheryl Ring, a transgender lawyer in McHenry, Illinois, noted her victory in a tweet. We won, she wrote. As of today anti-trans discrimination in Illinois courtrooms is officially unlawful. She won as a result of a stipulation by officials with the Illinois Attorney Registration and Disciplinary Commission. This transgender attorney said she's been repeatedly harassed and discriminated against in court. The other problem. The state's ethics rules for attorneys actually allow that. The court says an attorney can be reprimanded for discrimination based on race, sex, religion, age, or several other factors, but gender identity is not listed. California, on the other hand, lists gender identity. I have judged myself. She said, dead name me, meaning using her birth name after she had it legally changed. I have been misgendered or called slurs from the bench, she added. I have had judges who simply call me sir. In one case, a court clerk deliberately refused to use her legal name. It's easy to think of trans rights as some kind of important debate, she said, but it makes a big impact. Ring sued Winnebago County Clerk of the Circuit Court in August, accusing her of using her pre-transition name in court proceedings and e-filings, despite her repeated requests to be called by Cheryl Ring, to confuse her clients. She won her lawsuit seeking a declaration that attorney ethics rules in Illinois do not allow discrimination based on gender identity. She said the clerk's office finally started calling herself Cheryl Ring. The Illinois Supreme Court said they are currently reviewing their professional code of conduct and that they are committed to equitable justice without discrimination and harassment. Ring says the success was part of a team effort gained with the support of lawyers, friends and legal groups. She adds that Illinois is not at all a trailblazer here. According to her calculations, only two states, Alabama and Mississippi, have refused to impose some kind of ban on sex discrimination by prosecutors.